Welcome. Thank you for uh, joining me here. We've got a uh, another Hydrus malposition video. This is a uh, trabecular meshwork install with uh, recognition and repair. This is a, uh, I wouldn't say common, but not rare event uh, with Hydrus. It is a uh, an XYZ procedure, so it's important that everything um, be lined up correctly. Um, I just kind of glossed over the cataract surgery part here. A little bit of my stat, a little bit of 1% non-preserved, and of course you saw me doing my subconj 2% uh, with epi in the beginning. Just going to load the anterior chamber with the probisc, and then we'll reposition the head as usual. So I want to pick up here when the case gets more interesting. I've got my on thos view coming up, telling the patient to look away making sure I'm really straight onto that meshwork. You, I can't emphasize this enough, avoiding any kind of angle. Uh, the tendency is for the patient to want to turn back towards the microscope. Then as always, we've got to relax, we've got to calm, we've got to breathe. You just have to get rid of the energy of the cataract surgery and, and really focus on what you're gonna do at this stage. I test the uh, Hydra's device. I like a uh, posterior direction insertion, and then I turn it back around, and now I'm going to focus on the tip and then push my focus point further towards the meshwork as I advance the hydrus instrument towards the meshwork. And let's make sure I'm right on target. Now you see I'll do a little dimpling and... Uh, the view's not great, the angulation's not great. I kind of make a partial attempt and then realize I've got everything lined up poorly. Stop, I'm gonna ask the patient to reposition. I'm gonna reposition in here. I put it in, I thought it was good, but then I saw something I did not like. And then I reposition, notice the dimpling, there's that Z-axis correction. Now I like it a lot. And here, let me do a stop action and show you what I saw. So notice how shiny the tip is. And here's the second insert. Notice there's that dull sheen in front of the device. The first implant is in the meshwork. It's not in the canal. The second one's in the canal. And this is just a real subtle finding. It's important to recognize because obviously it will not work um, if you don't have it in the canal key points, the on false view, the posterior dimple on the angle, and then that dull appearance. If everything's not correct, just stop and do it over. Thank you very much, and hope you enjoyed this uh, video.